Whatever happened to his predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. You miss your old familiar friends, but waiting just around the bend. Everywhere you look, everywhere you so look. Hard. It's so hard. I hear the horn. Hey Cobras, welcome to Miss Venom. I'm JJ. And I'm Colin. Today is Friday, October 20th, 2023. We hope everyone did good on yesterday's PSAT. And now, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We start off today's broadcast with a lot of information regarding this month, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. This month, Think Pink will be raising money to donate to local charities. They have t-shirts up for sale on School Cash Online, and 100% of the profits will be donated to local breast cancer charities. This week's breast cancer fact is breast cancer treatment depends on the stage of cancer. It may consist of chemotherapy, radiation, or surgery. The official PV Pink Week t-shirts are available for order on School Cash Online. T-shirts are caught in short sleeves with unisex sizing. Sizes small through 3XL are available. Please join us out in the courtyard for PV Pink Week a week of fundraising games and throwing pies at colleagues and administrators. This will take place during the entirety of next week, October 23rd through the 27th. Please support our Cobra philanthropists as they attempt to exceed last year's fundraising amount of $2,000. And don't forget, on Wednesdays, we wear pink all October long. T-shirts will be available for pickup in room 5214, and you must bring your receipt. Cobras, are you ready for another week of coming to school in crazy clothes? Bark Vista's Think Pink is hosting Pink Week next week from October 23rd to the 27th. Next Monday, October 23rd, it is Comfy Cozy Pink Day. Dress in your comfiest, fluffiest pink sweats and hoodies. Get all warm and cozy but no pajamas. On Tuesday, October 24th, it is Pink Character Day. Pay tribute to your favorite pink characters such as Peppa Pig, Patrick Star, and more. On Wednesday, October 25th, it is Barbie and Ken Day. Say hi, Barbie, to your fellow classmates as you wear your favorite variation of this pink classic. No balloons or swimwear are allowed, but definitely go through the hallways singing, I'm just Ken. On Thursday, October 26th, it is Team Pink Day, upperclassmen versus underclassmen in the battle of the most team spirit. 9th and 10th grade wear light pink, and 11th and 12th grade wear dark pink. On Friday, October 27th, it is All Pink Everything Day. Dress fabulous and pink-tastic. This is our last day for Pink Week, which ends with our Pink Out home game. Wear as much pink as you can and join us in the evening to support our football team on Senior Night. Be sure to stop by room 5214 or find a Think Pink leadership team member to enter to win our Best Dressed Award. Keep calm and pink on. Hey Cobras, we know you're all dying to know more about pieing your favorite teachers. Think Pink is hosting the Pie Teacher Fundraiser this month on October 25th. Raffle tickets are available for $1 each. Students can purchase raffle tickets this month at lunch or through participating teachers. This year, students have the opportunity to pie Dr. Vela, Mr. Leibowitz, Mr. Perchio, Mr. Higley, Mr. Hallowell, Ms. Barrett, Ms. Leosados, Ms. Drucker, Mr. Demanuel, Mr. Spiker, and Mr. Seaman. The Avid or Top Teen Outreach Program are doing a holiday toy drive until December 1st. The toys will go to the Head Start Program and Bridges of Northwood. We will have boxes in the media center, in the atrium, before school and during lunch, or toys can be brought to room 5115. NHS and MHS are offering peer tutoring for every subject every Wednesday at lunch in room 6116. Attention seniors and juniors who plan to attend Palm Beach State College after graduation. You're invited to the Palm Beach State College information session on Monday, November 6th. You will learn about the programs and opportunities Palm Beach has to offer. The deadline for seniors and juniors to sign up is Wednesday, November 1st. The registration link will be posted in our October, October School Counseling Weekly Updates and on the College Visit Schedule page on our School Counseling link. Attention all seniors! The deadline to register for your nominations for the Pathfinder Scholarship Awards is fast approaching. This scholarship program is held each year to recognize high school seniors in Palm Beach and Martin Counties who have demonstrated outstanding achievement in 18 academic, vocational, musical, artistic, dramatic, and athletic categories. 
information regarding the self-nomination application and a list of categories were recently sent to all seniors through their student email account. Seniors may also access this information by logging on to our school website. The application is available as a Google Form under Pathfinder Awards, which is under the Scholarships and Financial Aid section of the School Counseling tab. Applications are due by October 24th, 2023. Please see Ms. Turner or Ms. Mills in the school counseling office before school, after school, or during lunch if you have any questions. You may also email them using the emails that were shown on screen. Cobra College Camp for Seniors and Senior Parents is tomorrow at 9 a.m. in the auditorium. We will be covering the Bright Futures and the FAFSA. In this session, school counselors will be joined by college financial and experts to talk about all things financial aid. Topics will include Bright Futures, FAFSA, and scholarship opportunities. This session is open to seniors and their parents and does not require registration. Bring a laptop so you can complete the Bright Futures application. If you missed either session one or session two of our Col Cobra College Camp, be sure to check out all the resources found at palmbeachschools.org. Are you ready to be scared? Host is annual haunted hospital is tonight from 6 to 9 p.m. Tours are $5, so don't miss out. There will also be food trucks and truck or treat for elementary school students, so make sure to stop by to have some fun. And now for sports. The Park Vista girls weightlifting team will be having a meeting during lunch today, October 20th at 1215 in the weight room. Information about this season will be shared and you will get to meet your new coaches. Hope to see you there. Congratulations to the girls bowling team as they have won the county championships in first place. Congratulations to the boys bowling team that came in third. We have many schools in Palm Beach County, so these are very impressive. Wish them great luck as they compete today at districts. That's it for sports. And now for today's lunch, we have macaroni and cheese, dinner roll, meat lover stromboli, marinara dipping cup, spicy chicken tenders, chocolate chip muffin platter, grape PB&J sandwich, soy butter sandwich platter, and fresh green beans. Now for a special interview with Mr. Walwork about Hosa's Haunted Hospital. Hello, my name is Glamry Sanchez. I'm part of um, TV production. And I'd like to ask some questions regarding the, um, the Haunted House event you're doing. What inspired you to start doing the event? Um, we actually started the Haunted Hospital before I uh, became host advisor. It's been going on for years and years. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do it every year as a fundraiser to uh, raise funds for our different conferences and competitions that we go to. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is our one big fundraiser that we're able to uh, supply a night of terror and fear for <laughs> for the students and staff. That's nice. Yeah. It's really nice. What were some main inspirations for the house, such as, you know, specific scenes and all? The, the uh, students uh, get together every year and they decide what they want their themes to be. So we have a, we have a reception area. Um, we have an asylum area. Um, this area that we're in right now is called the isolation area. Yeah. And then uh, we have a haunted carnival in the back, or a mm -hmm. haunted circus in the back, mm -hmm. and a uh, purge theme is uh, the final the final theme. So each year the students come up with different themes and for the different areas of the haunted hospital. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's nice. What was your favorite part working on the event? My favorite part of working on the event is uh, watching the students watch their hard work pay off. Yeah. And the, you know the night of the event after we've spent a month every every day after school setting up their hard work pays off they get to enjoy themselves and act and scare and um, they really get excited and just seeing their excitement gets me excited so that's, that's probably the best part for me. <laughs> All right uh, that's really nice actually that's, that's sounds really fun. It is. <laughs> and for, this is our last question uh, what's your favorite horror movie? I don't like horror movies. I don't like scary movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you for your um, time and, you know, for making your own time to come out here and do an interview. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. All right. We hope to see you at the Haunted Hospital. Remember, Cobras, if you have anything you would like to be sent on Mr. Venom, make sure to email Mr. Gonzalez. We hope you all have a great weekend, Cobras. We'll see you on Monday. Make today, make today the best it can be. Here today in Cobra Country. Stay, Stay safe, Cobras. Cobras.